Ladies and gentlemen, we have done a lot of Halloween specials. And I always try to one-up from the one we did last year. We are going to be investigating Joe Exotic's Zoo. As you have seen in the hit series, Tiger King. We're gonna be working alongside many of the people that you saw in that show. There's been stories of strange going ons here. Do you believe there's bodies buried on the property? Yep. I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Because these real life true events, they didn't stop at that show. They're continuing on. And we're dissecting a whole other part of Tiger King. The hauntings. Where our special ghost adventures horror at Joe Exotic Zoo coming to Travel Channel in late October. Is the Joe Exotic Zoo, made famous by Netflix's true crime documentary series, Tiger King, really haunted? Zach Baggins and the Ghost Adventures crew find out this Halloween. A press release sent out today explains. As the world has recently witnessed, the Greater Wynwood Animal Park has a history marred by tragedy and drama. But believe it or not there's another chapter in this sensational saga. Park staff regularly experience mysterious and unexplained activity, which they are sure is connected to the park's ill-reputed events. Now, the Ghost Adventures crew, Zach Baggins, Aaron Goodwin, Jay Wasley and Billy Tolley, have been called to investigate breaking new ground with the first-ever paranormal investigation inside the Oklahoma park. Travel Channel's two-hour special, Ghost Adventures, Horror at Joe Exotic Zoo, premieres Thursday, October 29 at 9 p.m. ETPT. It's an undertaking like no other for the group, teeming with shocking stories and discoveries, cadaver dogs and undeniable paranormal evidence. This investigation was wild from beginning to end. We went into it thinking we knew a little about this story already, but there were so many surprises at every turn, said Baggins. It's a supercharged location and it felt surreal to be there. This special has all the drama, characters and twists that you would expect in any Joe Exotic story. But just when you think you've seen and heard it all, there's more. Something sinister lurks in the shadows of this park. In exclusive interviews, Jeff and Lauren Lowe, who purchased the zoo from Joe Exotic in 2016, reveal rumors and stories about the notorious grounds, including allegations of murder. Employees also believe the spirit of Travis Maldonado, who tragically and accidentally killed himself inside the park, still lingers and appears in the form of a dark mist. As Baggins and the crew speak with park staff, including Eric Cowie and Alan Glover, well-known characters from the documentary, they learn new details about the park's story, and experience unexplained encounters that creep even these guys out, apparitions, shadow figures, voices and mysterious light phenomena. It's a beast of a case and the team calls in the big guns for assistance. Engineer Bill Chappelle will conduct the biggest audio experiment he's ever performed for an investigation, spanning the park's entire perimeter. To investigate the alleged claims of buried bodies, they bring in a forensic team to search the property for evidence. The park is awash with activity from the get-go, and it's inside Joe Exotic's former cabin that they capture astonishing evidence that may prove Travis's spirit is still around. But when the cadaver dogs get a possible hit for human remains and the investigation gets shut down by police, the real digging begins. As the dogs return a second time and the Ghost Adventures team captures three distinct EVPs in the areas of question, they're convinced there is more to this story. Ghost Adventures adds the chilling next chapter to Tiger King saga. There will always be stories that are simply too strange to be false, so wild they can't be made up. When Tiger King premiered on Netflix in March, it epitomized this phrase and blew every other crazy story out of the water. After rapidly binging the series, many viewers were left with unanswered questions. Others never wanted the saga to end. And now thanks to the Ghost Adventures team, more chapters will be added to the epic that is Joe Exotic and the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park. 
It's not unexpected for the team to go bigger and bolder for their annual Halloween special, but their investigation of this park will leave viewers with chills that may never settle. It turns the light away from the bright insanity of Tiger King, and shows us that the most terrifying installment of this story may not feature the living. Ghost Adventures, Horror at Joe Exotic Zoo follows the Ghost Adventures team, Zach Baggins, Aaron Goodwin, Billy Tolley, and Jay Wasley, as they conduct some of the biggest experiments they've ever undertaken in search for evidence of suspected foul play, as well as the spirit of Joe Exotic's late husband, Travis Maldonado. The special itself is about as predictable as the original series, in short, not at all. Fans of the show will easily marvel at the unassailable evidence collected here, but also find comfort in the tried and true humanity that the hosts bring to every investigation. Even calculated skeptics with a percentage of belief should be fully convinced of a paranormal world by the end of it. All in all, Ghost Adventures, Horror at Joe Exotic Zoo perpetuates why this team is the shining pinnacle when it comes to paranormal investigations. TV Guide talked to Zach Baggins and Jay Wasley about the investigation, the evidence that temporarily put it on pause, and whether or not the spirit world adheres to social distancing guidelines. How did this opportunity come about to investigate Joe Exotic's park? Zach Baggins said. I, like many others when this whole pandemic started, got hooked on watching Tiger King. I couldn't believe how many crazy things were just happening at this place with all of these people non-stop. So I got hooked to it. And I always wondered if there was an energy on these grounds that was affecting all these people. And then I saw this article come out on TMZ about how Jeff, Lowe, had to turn over the zoo to Carol Baskin. And the headline said that she can have the zoo and all the ghosts that go with it. And I immediately was like did he really mean literal ghosts? Because I had this thought before I even saw this article, is this place haunted? And I ended up talking to Jeff, and after I talked to him, I was like this is meant to be because I saw myself going to this place and investigating it. It was meant to happen. And he said, yes, him, others that you may have recognized, Eric Cowie and Alan Glover, all these people have had paranormal experiences at the property. And they've also seen the apparition of Travis Maldonado at great length. And it was very shocking to hear these stories when we were there. It's a whole new kind of chapter for this zoo. Wynwood Park is not a small location, how did the team prepare to take on such an investigation? Jay Wasley explained. We had a lot of ground cover and a lot of parts we wanted to focus on. So we kind of narrowed down a few hot spots that we would focus a little more on. Honestly, just moving anywhere through that zoo at night, especially at night, there literally were tigers there looking at you, which was terrifying enough, but you could feel the energy around. It's not just in single spots. We'd go out in different areas just to make sure we cover all our bases, but I mean, the hot spots did not disappoint. Some of the evidence we even got during the investigations with some of the people that were actually making the claims. That was pretty impressive when it happens right on the spot and we're not even trying. Zach Baggins also said, there's an area of the park a lot of people don't know about called the Back 40. And Jeff said that even, he, and his dad don't like to go back there at night. And we've been to some haunted forests. I mean, I've been in the most haunted forest in the world, the Hoya Bashu Forest in Romania. I was more fearful in this Back 40 than I was in Hoya Bashu. I know you can't spoil a whole bunch, but can you give us a teaser of some of the evidence you might have picked up at this location? Jay Wasley said, Zach and I, when we were investigating the gift shop, and I don't want to say what it is, but there was a certain piece of evidence we got there that was pretty impressive to me. It was just non-stop. One of the things I remember, we were interviewing Alan and he saw somebody while we were filming with him. And I think, I believe you saw him too, an apparition. Zach Baggins tells about Bill Chappelle. We brought Bill Chappelle in, who's a highly regarded electrical engineer, and he's also known for being a full-blown skeptic. He invents a lot of incredible equipment. He's, I would say, the leading electrical engineer in the world when it comes to paranormal equipment. And he built the Deep Echo experiment, which was basically a containment chamber to record EVP in an exterior environment. And there were several different tubes where he inserted different types of microphones. And then in another tube, he filled it with water and put an underwater microphone in there. So he tried all these different experimentations with these microphones and he captured a male voice in this contraption that was absolutely impossible to explain. And I think it was one of the most incredible pieces of audio evidence that he's ever heard. I didn't know what to expect, going to a zoo and getting evidence like this. 
Jay Wasley also said. And I think too, it's great to get a single piece of evidence, but there was a moment when Zach, Aaron, and myself were investigating and there was a series of events that happened. I wish I could tell you, it was incredible. But this entire series of events led us through this mini journey of this evidence that just painted us in different directions. And what we captured at the end there, we were literally jumping up and down. We were so excited about it. During the investigation, a cadaver dog found remains that were at one point believed to be human. Can you explain how that situation unfolded? Zach Baggins explained. So we heard in proven claims that there may be bodies buried on the property, but these were just claims that were told to us. As investigators we've brought in ground penetrating radar before, we've used metal detection devices, we've done all kinds of things. So I just thought, you know what, let's bring in cadaver dogs and see if they pick up anything. These cadaver dogs are highly trained. And when we brought them in, two of these dogs gave an alert and the cadaver dog trainers firmly believed that they were picking up the scent of human remains. That's when our whole investigation came to a halt. And the police came in, the Oklahoma FBI came in and they began digging. They did not uncover any human remains. But after they left, the cadaver dog people firmly believed that their dogs were still picking up the scent of human remains. And they came back, I think twice. And then they brought in four dogs and apparently all four dogs picked up the scent. So, going onto that property we really left with some great evidence, but we also left with a lot of questions that still have yet to be answered. Some of the items from the park are now at your museum in Las Vegas. Was there a rhyme and a reason behind which items would be in the exhibit? Zach Baggins answered. So, they were given to me by Jeff Lowe. Every investigation that I do if it's really iconic, or if we get evidence that's like level 10, I always try to take something if it's given to me or if I can buy it to really let me remember the investigation and the interaction that I had with the spirits. And Jeff Lowe just started donating all of these things to my museum. And some of them were gross. Some of them were connected with spiritual activity. And then just recently he gave me both of the signs from the park, the sign that was on the gift shop where Travis accidentally committed suicide and then also the exotic animal park sign. So I ended up making an exhibit to remember such an iconic investigation. With the pandemic, how is the team still carrying on investigations? Do you believe this has affected the paranormal world? Zach Baggins said. The measures that we're taking on the investigations are just like anybody else. I mean, wearing masks and social distancing. But it has also allowed us to investigate some locations that we never would have had access to because they're shut down. So, there is that side of it. We're still going strong and we're investigating and seeing how the spirit world reacts to a global pandemic. I think it's hard for us to stop, honestly. It's not just a show, we truly love what we do. Jay Wasley said. When we get home, there's a few days where it's nice to be home, but then we're ready to get back out there. And when the pandemic first hit and we didn't know if we were getting shut down, Zach talked about the idea of just the four of us quarantining at the museum. I was like, yes. It's just something that we'd just love to do. And when you can't do that, it hurts. We've been fortunate enough and we're taking all the precautions necessary to keep everyone safe and we're still doing it. I'm so thankful and so happy we're able to keep going. Zach Baggins explained. But we've learned that the spirits do not abide by social distance and they still touch us and attack us and things like that. Jay Wasley said. It's just such an interesting time in the world where there's so much fear and stress and anxiety amongst people in society, that I think that's playing into the paranormal world, and almost strengthening it on the negative side. Some of the dark energies, some of the hauntings, are becoming more intense. This whole year, it's kind of an experiment in itself with the effect on that world. What do you both hope the audience takes away from this special? Jay Wasley answer. I was so excited to go there. You know, I was a big fan of the series and it did just grasp you, and I think it grasped everybody that watched it. So I think this is a new chapter. It's kind of exploring more that the series didn't explore. And just the evidence we got and the experiences we had, I think fans of our show will obviously love it because they enjoy what we do. But I think even fans of Tiger King will enjoy it too. Because it just asks more questions. It's this crazy story that just keeps going and you can't look away. I'm excited to watch it again. I can't wait to see it myself. Zach Baggins said. Beyond anything, fans of our show, any other show, any skeptics at all, they're really going to be blown away by evidence we captured there. 
Because like Jay said, I don't know how many times we have all just started jumping up and down and hugging each other. I don't think we've ever done that. So I think that can speak to some of the unexpected moments that we captured and it's pretty mind-blowing, it really is. Zach Baggins felt presence of dark energy during Joe Exotic Zoo investigation. Now the team is tackling the Greater Wynwood Animal Park, otherwise known as the Joe Exotic Zoo featured in Netflix's docuseries Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem and Madness. I really didn't know what to expect, I had watched the series, and I'd heard all about it, but as soon as we stepped foot on the property, it was the same kind of chaos and pandemonium. In this year's special, Ghost Adventures, Horror at Joe Exotic Zoo, Baggins was invited by Jeff and Lauren Lowe, who purchased the park in 2016, to conduct the first ever paranormal investigation following the tragic accidental suicide of Exotic's husband, Travis Maldonado, who shot himself in the gift shop. You definitely feel a presence of dark energy and I think it's from what has occurred there, Baggins says. It was just like holy shish, this is crazy. Speaking to park staff, including Eric Cowie and Alan Glover from the docuseries, Baggins and his team soon discovered new details about the dark history of the park, including apparitions, shadow figures, disembodied voices and light anomalies. Jeff was like, you won't believe the things that go on here, Baggins recalls. Eric told me that Travis sat on his couch for two minutes days after his death. He's like, I don't believe in ghosts. I'm a total skeptic. But I'm going to tell you right now, Travis's spirit sat on my couch for two minutes and I was completely sober. The investigation, which was even halted at one point after cadaver dogs detected human remains on the property, culminates inside Joe Exotic's former cabin where the crew captured paranormal evidence, including a figure on the SLS camera, that may prove Maldonado's spirit is haunting the park and its employees. Some really incredible things started happening, Baggins adds. Honestly the whole chain of events was absolutely amazing and completely unexpected. We were all tripping out. Aaron. What did you walk away with from this particular investigation? It's a darker story of the zoo and everything with Tiger King. I couldn't believe the evidence we got and what happened with all this stuff. I think the audience will be satisfied because they really get a different look at Tiger King's story. They will walk away thinking that this place is haunted. What were some of the main challenges you faced? Aaron Goodwin answered. We were there for a whole week. We're from Vegas, so we're used to dry heat. Here it was humid and stormy. We were walking around wet and sweated. This was also the first time filming outside with COVID. We were worried about that but as soon as we stepped onto the land everything changed. You can sense the energy, this weird sadness and oppression there. We started filming and doing interviews for a few days. We got to go through Joe Exotic's house that got raided by the cops. I think it was the second or third day we brought cadaver dogs out to sniff around and see if there were human remains on the property. There were a couple of possible hits. That was interesting. Ghost Adventures, Horror at Joe Exotic Zoo premieres Thursday at 9 p.m. E.T. on Travel Channel. That is for today, I hope you like this video, if you do, please do not forget to subscribe, like share and click the bell button for more videos coming, and for all Ghost Adventures episodes, sneak peeks and article. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.